the two components that I want to discuss in file management utilities. Right here, recovery management manager. Recovery manager is something that is built on Windows. If you are using some other operating system, there should be obviously. But for now, I'm presenting about how to perform recovery manager in Windows. I'll click uh, again my Windows button and then I'll tile recovery. Right? Now, once it comes to this is the path, you may see control panel, uh, panel items, recovery. I just go in the shortest path. You can uh, create a recovery drive, open a system restore and configure restore so you may go either option now what's a recovery is if something if your computer performs unfortunately crashed or some unwanted thing happened you have to go back to your computer then there's no any issue think it's a if, if something is your computer is crashing continuously after installing some sort of software you have uninstalled the software still the issue is there think such kind of scenario at that case if you have a restore point or recovery point then you may go back to time as an example if you created the recovery point yesterday you can make your computer settings and other related stuff to make it yesterday so you your computer works like where you have created your restore point we will do it in a practical way uh, i'll create a recovery point uh, i'm going to uh, recovery actually uh, not uh, this point i'll do in different way restore point Right. I'll create a restore point here. Right. Then I'll click here. This is uh, something easy. Then uh, move with this activity. Now you may see uh, I have moved to recovery point uh, or the system protection category. Then I can click this uh, system restore. Then I'll go to next. Then you may see there's a restore point that I have created. Little bit early. Then I can go back and I can confirm and finish. But I'm not finishing because it uh, takes some time. Uh, I'll cancel it. Now, this is the restore story. Uh, still, if you are not clear, we'll start from creating. Now, we are going to start create a restore point. This is the initial point. Now I have shown you the system list of points. Now this is how how to create a recovery point or restore point. Now first of all we have to click this create. Then we can give a small description if uh, to make sure that to remember our restore point. Then I'll make it as a temp temp with the uh, like the date something this is the recovery date and time is all almost it's in there but uh, to identify the it's a name so i have a name tim so I'm, I'm creating now you may see now it's uh, 845 sorry it uh, 44 create it now system is create a point that my computer currently states where my currently computer states it's a, just a point that blocks it stores all the information where my computer hangs in this point okay if my computer corrupts tomorrow if my computer programs slash some sort of some issue 
occurred then i can come back to today now think uh, tomorrow is the issue is occurring then i can come back to today 8:45 and that's the restore point right now you may see this restore point is successfully created i'll pause, pause it now i can go to system restore again I can go to system restore again now you may see the description there's a there's a small description this description means the name that i have mentioned and date and time today this time right so this is another restore point that i have created a little bit late, uh, earlier to demonstrate to you this is the restore point that you have seen so each and every month if you can keep a manual restore point that means your system is very safe because every month you can if if, if the last month if your system was some issue is there then you can go back and come to the last date that system works well that this is the restore point that system performs well now today my computer is working well okay. so tomorrow i'm installing a software after few hours my computer get crashed it's okay i can start the restore point i can come back to this time that means now it's almost 47 i can go let my system to move Two, three minutes back. Right. Yeah, I'm. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do three minutes back. How my system is what uh, performs. Right. Now, before that, make sure now. At the moment, there's no any corruptions in my system, so I can't show many of uh, situations. But if you keep continuous restore points, in one day, it might be really helpful for you. And make sure to before go to whatever the restore point there might be 10 restore points or so uh, restore points make sure to scan for the affected programs right the other point that i want to mention here is i want to show more restore points so once i click here i can see automatically defines these two i haven't defined these two restore points are automatically defined by windows this situation uh, first of uh, this uh, june i have removed subsystem for linux update right i have removed this is an uninstallation as of there i have uninstalled and you may see it's a type of uninstallation that means at this day i have uninstalled a software so windows kept a record that I have removed this software if I need to go back then I can go to this date and start from start the operating system to run again but this is not meant that something uninstalled and you can get back the uninstalled software here that means you can move your computer or get back to your computer you can travel your time to the past in this time in this date in this time and the other thing there's an installer there's an install type these two are automated these two i haven't created these are done by system so it's again another installation it was happening this date and this time clear now these are automatically happening but we can do again these manual operations too now what do you mean by a system restore or recovery means you are moving your computer to a back date date yesterday or last week or last month or whatever the date that is a date that executes your computer perfectly so i'm creating a manual thing once creative once my computer working perfectly to make sure why why i am doing this re restore activity to make sure my computer runs perfectly if some 
everything corrupts i can go back to the date and i and, and i can uh, run my applications right but if you have done after some important work in between these days think i want to like if i move to uh, 1st of june there might be some some situations happen in here some documents are installed some important uh, updates are done something has happened everything will be lost everything will be lost that's the risk that you uh, realize so if you are keeping weekly restore points that means your computer is more secure right but if you are keeping daily it's really hard we'll come to that point uh, we'll create a <coughs> backup for such situation but for a system it's the best thing is like monthly or weekly is more than enough right now you know how to create this restore point i'll restore to this point just the lecture started then i'll scan for the affected programs because i want to make sure what are the things what are the situations after performing this backup uh, system restore what are the things that affect to my computer what are the things i am losing right uh, so it scans for a while for a small time then uh, it will show in this place now after doing a system backup uh, restore now it's almost uh, 52 a 52 now if we restore it won't move to this time right the time won't change system just changed right now we will experience it now no, no nothing is detected no worries i can close it i can move to next then uh, it's a manual recovery restore point i am going to system restore to this manual time which was happening in this time then i'll finish it system can be interrupted do you want to complete you may say yes and you can realize uh, your system is getting like it, it gets some time uh, for meanwhile i'm doing no but you can make sure yes because you can you have uh, some some sort of a lot of time so you can do yes and uh, experience it there's nothing happened just it restores your computer to the time that you have created don't worry nothing will happen because you are one while this time for last 10 minutes you haven't done anything so no worries nothing will happen to your computer but keep it make sure to keep it once in the once every month every month first or 31st or whatever date to keep a manual restore point that makes your computer more uh, stable uh, because if something happens corrupted you can back to your time right so do it continuously uh, one day you will realize very important point in your computer life right so i'll make it no and i'll uh, cancel my program and i'll go back so now i have discussed about recovery manager under file management retrieval